Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Today I want to talk to you about how to restore and repair any electric motor that has slowed down, stopped spinning, or is making horrendous screeching noises. The horrible, horrible sounds that you can hear from especially your uh, window fans in summer. So don't throw those fans and those motors away, any motor power device like that. I'm going to show you how to get them going again. Now what I have here is a rock tumbler, but this works for old fans, old, old fans, or any basic fans that started squealing or just started running slow, just the same. Now this one came with no screws, so I'm just going to take the cover and set it aside. It's a very simple project, and what we have here is a motor that is not running as fast anymore. Ah, perfect example. See, it spins a little, and then it stops. If you look here closely, when I plug it in, it wants to go. The motor itself is not defective. It hasn't failed. It just is not spinning the way it's supposed to anymore. See, it wants to go, and if you give it a little push, a little help, it gets going, but it doesn't have enough uh, power left to spin up to speed. And the reason is it's dirty. What happens is all, these are a very, very simple motor, very simple device with a shaft through here. And they don't have bearings. They have what's called bushings. And what happens is dirt and dust get collected up on those bushings and then there's too much resistance for that motor to spin freely anymore and it stops working. So what I'm going to do today is take this motor out, take it apart, clean the bushings and get it going again. Now you may get away with a very very simple fix especially in your, your fans, your window fan, your box fan or your little round spinning fan. You might be able to just get some oil down in there if you can reach it and it might be enough if you can reach both sides of that shaft now in my case I can't exactly reach it but in your fan very often you can get in there in my fan example that I had a minute ago you can get to there's a if there's an oiling point even better on this old one there's an oil point but if you can get down into those bushings on the front and the back then you're good to go oil them up they might run for you again for a while but they're gonna start slowing down and shrieking with time as that dirt starts to push out the oil so the the best thing is if you're mechanically inclined enough to do so break it down take it apart clean it and put it back together let me get my tools out and I'll be right back now I have to take off the motor. Well, these are loose. hoping to do this without undoing the electrical wires. Get my belt, the drive belt out of the way. Okay, get this wire out of my way. Put your parts aside so you don't lose them. Dead over with the screws here, the knots. So, this should free spin. It's not. There's, I can feel resistance in that motor, so definitely the bearings are dirty. And this should be held together very simply with, it looks like, two, three um, screws that go through, which are also the mounting screws that hold this on the back. When I get that apart, I should be able to get the armature out. Now that 
It needs to come all the way out, all the way through. I might need a little wrench for this. The fan blade's in my way. Okay, so I have to take the fan off. Which requires a little Allen wrench. Okay. That was in my way. I was trying to use pliers. Now I can get them off properly and easily. Now this may look complicated, but it's very simple. These old motors are pure simplicity. It probably will be dirty though from years of oil and dirt accumulated. There we go. Now the pieces fall apart and here we have a very very simple motor and the dirt is collected oh well wow, that's rotating the dirt is up in here I can find I found a resistance here this side won't come out it's very much in there interesting so there's a plastic little bushing make sure you don't lose any of the parts now I'm going to have to free this up with some oil this side is giving me trouble. Probably this is the side that was hanging. Don't lose your little bushing. So I'm going to get some uh, oil and I'm going to lube this up and then I'm going to clean it both sides. I have to get this oiled up and break it free and then I can clean it and I can put it back together and I bet it's going to work just like new. We'll be back in a few minutes. This is a very extreme example. The bushing is so filthy and tight on here that it pulled right out of the bushing housing. I hope I can, I'll be able to get that back together. It does not want to spin on this shaft and this is supposed to spin freely on this shaft. This is terrible, really bad. It's no wonder the poor thing couldn't run. That's all filth, accumulated filth on there. Now I have some carburetor cleaner, which is really aggressive cleaner. And I'm gonna clean this off because all the accumulated dirt through the years is on there. And there's a couple more pieces of plastic bushings that's covered in dirt, all so filthy. So bad. You could use WD-40 or your favorite lubricating and penetrating oil to clean this as well. I've used WD-40 with much success as well in the past. Just happens to be I have some carburetor cleaner right here, which will clean this up nicely and break up all that filth. I'm gonna take them off, but I don't wanna lose their position. There's a uh, fiber washer with a plastic washer. So this is supposed to spin on here freely, and it's not. So I'm gonna continue cleaning this up. You may want to run a soaked paper towel through there back and forth. Look at the filth coming off. Look at that. That is why it doesn't work. All that dirt and metal particles from the year, or from the years, has caused that to no longer want to spin freely. When you're done, that should be spotless and beautiful inside. And hopefully, oh yes, oh yeah, look at that. All the difference in the world right there. Look at that. 
Very nice. Now I'm going to go back inside and I'm going to put this back together, pressing that back in place. I set the pieces together and it spins freely now. Get a little bit of oil in there to start out. in there and we should have a working motor screws in. I cleaned up the fan. It was only a couple minutes extra anyway while I was at it. I'm not sure how far out that stuck so I'm gonna have to check that when I get it put back together. It's easy to adjust. I'm not gonna tighten it down hard yet. I'll do that when I get that lined up with the belt. Put this back around. Now, before I hook it all back up, I'm just going to hand tighten these and I'm going to turn that on and it should spin very nice and freely on its own without me hand starting it. Let's plug it in and see what happens. It should start up on its own and spin freely. And yes, I don't know if you can see it spinning. Yeah, you can see that. We have success. This motor will have years of life left in it now, as long as I keep it lubricated. To prevent wear from getting this severe, I advise that you lubricate your bushings every few months or so. And uh, on, your, on your window fan, for example, as long as you can find and reach them, I would do it once a month to prevent wear as you see here. This is excessive wear from years of use without being lubricated at the bushings. And so, um, you know, really, really hardcore extreme example, but it is working again. I got it. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Where's my thumb? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like, like this video. Leave a comment down below. I'm gonna put this back together. I hope it helps someone out there it certainly helps me, because I'm going to get my rock tumbler running. Well, talk to you later. As an added bonus for those of you who did not rush right away and shut down the video, I am giving it the full process. I'm going ahead and cleaning any moving part on this just to extend its life. Anything that moves on this is going to get cleaned out and there was some severe wear even on this stainless steel shaft from a plastic bushing
And that'll extend the life of your device, whether it be a fan or a rock tumbler or an electric shaver. Anything that has a motor like this can benefit from occasional cleaning and lubrication. Now that's the end of the video. Talk to you later.